Uh, we attend the same church and uh, once in a while we bump into each other camera first. Um, oh, here's just an example. Um, this is outside church. This is one Sunday outside church. You captured my kids. This is how they look now. And then made it possible for me to wear them around my neck. I didn't even warn you about this, guys, but did you wonder what that unusual piece of jewelry was? Um, yeah, that's my kids right there. <laughs> Julie, uh, I, I'll tell you what, we have Andy Stanley, Charles Stanley's son here mm -hmm. for the month of August. And his book is called The Grace of God. Your story is a portrait. He would have loved to get your story in there, I think, because mm -hmm. uh, it really is an encouragement. We want to tell it all. You're the owner of Vine Images. Mm -hmm. Why Vine Images? Um, it's a photography studio here in Burlington, and the Lord put it on my heart to name it Vine Images based on John 15, 5, which is, um, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And I became a believer when I was 19 years old. So I know my life without God, and I know my life with God. And um, so this is, this is why I named it Vine Images, because he is the vine, I'm a branch, and without him, I can do nothing. So he has just blessed me abundantly over the past, gosh, 17 years. You've been married to Norman mm -hmm. for 14? Almost 14, 14 years. 14 years, yeah. How old are your three children? They are 10, 11, and Jessica just turned 13. So I have a teenager. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Another adventure <laughs> begins. It is, it is. A new adventure mm -hmm. begins. You were here and told us your story. Yeah. Uh, was that about a year ago? Or uh, probably, more? yeah. And I, I know it's, it's fair to say that initially, motherhood was a crisis for you. Mm-hmm. Well, we had an unplanned um, pregnancy, and so we weren't married at the time, and um, it was pretty shocking. Like, I was 22 years old, and uh, yeah, like, it was, uh, it came, came as quite a surprise. We were trying very hard to remain faithful um, during our dating years. As believers. As believers, yeah. So, you know, that did happen, and God never left us, or... You know, he stayed with us and we got counseling and we were able to deal with that. Talk about not being condemned. That's right. God we, just kept showing favor and grace. He did. He did. And she's the biggest blessing that has ever happened. So we were married uh, shortly after. Uh, we found out we were pregnant. We were married actually within two and a half months. So we planned a wedding very quickly. And, uh, and then after marriage, we had her like six months later. What's so her name? Her name is Jessica. So Jessica. now she's the 13-year-old. The teenager. And uh, God has just done amazing things with my family and and my children, my business, everything. Uh, I, I just know so many parents, moms especially, mm -hmm. would love to be able to have more time with their children. Uh, men, many are creatively thinking, what can I do from home? Mm -hmm. That's where you were a decade ago. Mm -hmm. Had you had experience with photography? Had you had training? No, I never took it in high school. I never, um, but I always loved it. I always had a camera with me everywhere that I went. And um, Norm, when we um, were dating, he actually bought me a camera for Christmas. And it was like an expensive one at the time, but just a point and shoot. And uh, I would take pictures all the time. And then when I had my children, um, I just would set up backdrops. Like I just love taking pictures and we couldn't afford to get professional photos done. So I would do them myself. <laughs> and, uh, and slowly but surely friends of mine would be like, Julie, those are great. Like, can you take pictures of my kids? And it just, it just snowballed. I started praying and asking God, you know, what can I do from home? And, uh, and he revealed to me like this, this was it. And so, yeah, so I opened, um, it was photographs by Julie Johnson when I first started 10 years ago. And now I've become a corporation. It's, uh, it's called Vine Images. And um, yeah, I've been voted number one in Burlington for I think six years now as photographer and studio. So it's, it's wow. pretty exciting. Wow. Yeah. And some very significant people have discovered you. Yes. And engaged yes. your photography. Yeah. So the last, um, the last time that I was on the show, we were talking a book called Unexpected Love, with, which is still in the works, and uh, it actually has to be re revamped a little bit. But so anyways, because of that, um, I sent in the book to Harvest House Publishers, and they fell in love with my photography. 
and have um, approached me asking if I would work with them um, on several books. So actually, I have seven books coming out with Harvest seven. House. Seven? I didn't seven. even know that. Yeah. So there's tons and tons of, uh, of, of work with them, and I'm so happy. I love that company. I love the people, mm. and uh, it's just been... You know what? We love them, too, I at know. Harvest House. Yeah. They send us so many wonderful guests, authors. <coughs> Look at these. Prayers for my baby girl, prayers for my baby boy, written by the text from one of our favorite authors, Angela Thomas has been here uh, several times, mm -hmm. I think, with her books. And of course, Photography by Julie Johnson. Um, I wanna get those little peas in the pot. I just had my hand there. Oh, Share thanks. joy, you gotta see, this is just one of my favorites. I wanna talk to the photographer about how you did that. They're twins, obviously. They're twins, yeah. Uh, first of all, is that something hanging out in your garden? <laughs> where, where did you put those babies? That <laughs> is actually a um, a pea pod. It's a it's like I guess a decorative item, and I spray painted it green, so it matched. And then I had one of my clients knit me that big um, the sack there and the two hats, and uh, yeah. So these precious little guys uh, came in, and I believe they were about a week to two weeks old, and. Um, we just kept them warm and content. And do they, uh, you don't drug them, do you? No. How do you get them to <laughs> just be asleep like yeah. that? Yeah, well, newborn sessions are usually two hours long, if not a little bit longer, and that's mm. because we need that time for feeding, changing, making sure they're comfortable. And uh, we've, you know, I have several tricks of the trade that I use to keep them comfortable. And uh, yeah, so it's fun. Beautiful prayers. And, we, you know, I think most of us start praying for those babies mm -hmm. before they are welcomed into the world. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I know that was true for, for both of us. Yes. And then you, you want these beautiful prayers to, um, to accompany the journey. He'll call me mummy. Oh, look mm -hmm. at this one. I mean, you just, there's not a page that doesn't do something for you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The writing, she did uh, an amazing job. I, when I was reading through it, tears were coming to my eyes. Just her prayers are beautiful. It's such, they're such great books. She's a brilliant uh, writer. From the heart. Yep. We're gonna have, a, in a moment, um, a beautiful presentation that you've made that's going to take us into the experience. Mm -hmm. But we've got some other show and tell here that reflects uh, Mother's Heart in a journey that God has made rich for you, Julie. Mm -hmm. Well, since becoming a mother, God has just revealed to me His heart and His love for us in the same way that we do love our children. We love them unconditionally. And every client that comes in, I'll ask, you know, did you ever imagine that you could love someone so much? And all of them, no matter what race, nationality, religion, they're all like, I didn't even know this love existed. So God gave us that love. And I just, I find it to be such an amazing amazing experience. I couldn't get enough when I had the, the first child. I had to have two more right away. So we had three <laughs> kids in two and a half years. But um, I just love being a mother. I love everything that God has taught me. And he just continues to teach me new things. So. And you're a saver like me. Mm -hmm. um, this, these, are, um, these are a few things. Like God just revealed to me how much he loves our praise. And you know, when we worship at church, it makes him so happy to know that he's loved by us and that we adore him. And uh, so my daughter um, just, she made me this last Mother's Day and it was uh, just, mommy, I love you, you rock. You are the best mom in the whole wide world. Do you like this card? I hope so, I made it for you. Um, and then she made all these little poems. Mummy, you are amazing. You're kind, loving, wonderful. I love you, mummy. Um, I love you and you love me. <laughs> you are my mom. I'm your daughter. Um, she's like, do you like my picture of the bunny? He thinks you rock a lot. So well, like see. just, yeah. And then she Is this mom. Jessica? That's Madison. Actually, oh, this is Madison. Of course, yeah. the younger one. She won't mind if we show and tell oh, a little. Oh, no. She's, she's my little artist. Look at the writing. Oh, I know. Mums, if you're not doing it already, you know you want to save these things. Mm -hmm. And the older they get, the more precious these treasures become. They I have a stay big, little long. I know. I have a big box under my bed of all the uh, all the stuff. Like, look at this. This is from Jacob. How old's Jacob now? Jacob is ten. And that's the Valentine. Like you are precious to me. That's all. One little line, and it just means the world Says to me. Says it all. That was yeah. a sweet Valentine. I know. <laughs> so uh, you're going to be writing a book on this theme as well. Mm -hmm. The lessons that you've learned about God and his love mm -hmm. through your children, through being a mom. Yeah. 
You know, the dads do too. Oh, yeah. I know my husband was transformed in daddyhood mm -hmm. because he really began to understand the father's love mm -hmm. for him.